Welcome to this episode. We will focus on the builder design pattern in Go, illustrated with a real-world example. Let's understand the pattern first. The builder design pattern is a crucial tool for constructing complex objects. This pattern shines when you need to construct complex objects with multiple configurations. It's like a master chef meticulously adding ingredients to create a perfect dish, allowing programmers to build objects step by step, ensuring flexibility and clarity in their code. Now, let's explore how this pattern can simplify the process of creating a customizable pizza order. In a pizza restaurant, customers love to customize their pizzas. They choose from a range of toppings, crust types and sizes. This is where the builder pattern shines, providing flexibility and clarity in customization. First, let's define our product, the pizza. A pizza can have different sizes, crusts and a variety of toppings like cheese, pepperoni and mushrooms. Let us see how this pattern will be used to make things simple before we go deeper in the implementation. Here in the main function, to build a predefined pizza, we call methods of the director. This is the most interesting part, to build a custom pizza. We use builder and chain methods like set size, add pepperoni and add mushrooms to add the specific ingredients to build a new pizza. Doesn't the code look elegant and clean? Let's learn how this is implemented. Here we introduce the pizza builder interface. This interface outlines the methods for adding various toppings and properties to our pizza. Here, all methods except the build method return pizza builder. Later we can chain these method calls together and at the end we can call build to build the pizza. Now let's implement the concrete pizza builder which provides specific methods to customize our pizza. The struct contains a pizza. The Concrete Pizza Builder implements the Pizza Builder interface. The set size function can be called on instances of Concrete Pizza Builder. It simply sets the size of the pizza and returns the Concrete Pizza Builder object. The other interface methods are implemented in the same way. The build method is however different. It simply returns the pizza in the concrete pizza builder structure. The director in our case might be the chef or an automated system that defines common pizza configurations. Margarita is one of the most common pizzas. The method create margarita on the struct pizza director takes pizza builder as an argument. This builder is used to add specific ingredients required for this pizza. Then we call the build function that returns the pizza with the added ingredients. Similarly, there could be other kinds of predefined pizzas in the menu that can be created using director's methods. Let's see the builder pattern in action. We'll create both a predefined margarita pizza and a custom pizza order using our builder. Here, we have created builder and director variables. Now, to build a predefined pizza, we use the director method. Next, to build a custom pizza based on the customer's requirements, we use Builder and add the ingredients to build a pizza for them. We set the size and add ingredients like pepperoni and mushrooms. Let's run the program. Here is the structure of the margarita pizza and for the custom pizza. In the real world, this pattern offers great customizability, clarity and scalability. Customers get exactly what they want and the kitchen can easily manage complex orders. And there you have it. The builder design pattern makes managing complex objects like pizza orders a piece of cake, or should we say a slice of pizza. Thanks for watching and happy coding.